rapidly late Thursday and peak early Friday, with damaging surf possible depending on the eventual track of V-cell, before diminishing slightly Saturday. Tropical Cyclone Julio will be approaching the area from the late Saturday and Sunday. Powerful Hurricane V-cell slows down, expected to move faster toward the Hawaiian Islands on Tuesday and Wednesday. At 5 p.m., the center of Hurricane Isel was located near latitude 16.0 north, longitude 138.0 west. This is about 1150 miles east of Hilo, Hawaii. Isel is moving toward the west near 8 miles per hour, and this general motion is expected to continue tonight. Isel should turn toward the west-northwest at a faster forward speed on Tuesday and Wednesday. Maximum sustained winds are near 140 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Esel is a Category 4 hurricane on the Sefer Simpson hurricane wind scale. Weakening is forecast during the next 48 hours, but Esel is expected to remain a hurricane during that time. Hurricane force winds extend outward up to 35 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend outward up to 105 miles. The estimated minimum central pressure is 951 millibars, 28.09 inches. The next complete advisory will be issued at 11 p.m. Genevieve still a depression far south of Johnston Island. At 5 p.m., the center of tropical depression Genevieve was located near latitude 10.5 north, longitude 168.8 west. The depression is moving toward the west-northwest near 16 miles per hour, and this motion is expected to continue over the next 48 hours. Maximum sustained winds are near 35 miles per hour, with higher gusts. Genevieve is expected to gradually strengthen during the next 48 hours. The estimated minimum central pressure is 1,006 millibars, 29.71 inches. The next complete advisory will be issued at 11 p.m. Flood potential outlook for the state of Hawaii. The latest forecast for Hurricane Isel takes the system over the island chain as a gradually weakening tropical cyclone. While Isel is expected to be moving steadily west as it passes through the island chain, abundant moisture drawn into the circulation will bring the potential for very heavy rainfall and flash flooding on Thursday and Friday. The details on the timing, location, and amount of rainfall remain uncertain and are highly dependent on the eventual track of Isel. Please stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio or local media for further information. An updated outlook will be issued by 4 a.m. Tuesday, or sooner if necessary.